only problem is, could you possibly? Oh, that was fun. We got turned down three times. Not once, not twice, but three, three times. times. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? My favorite thing, if I'm being honest about the RV life, is don't do it, Matthew. Morning. So you know how yesterday, for you just a few seconds ago, we were whining and whining about all of our friends leaving us? Well... Well, guess what, y'all? We're going to bash to join our friends. It was a sold-out event, and because of the rubber chicken gang, they got us in. Now, tell them what bash is, because I'm sure some of these people oh, don't know what it is. It's called the Escapers Bash, and I think it's a annual get-together of all the escapers but i'm not sure if it's the biggest one i think escapade is the biggest one from i think what that's I've been right hearing. yeah but it's supposed to be a lot of fun we keep hearing so much about it we weren't planning on going no. so here we go this morning in uh, about a half an hour yeah they all paid for early entry but which they got in on friday but we still worked on friday and they're like can't y'all play hooky we're like no so no. we're joining them today but the other thing about this this is all new to us we have been to a rally before yeah a grand design rally in the desert and that wasn't at an rv park where you had designated spots so you mm -hmm. just park wherever in the um, boondocking spot so yeah. that was easy well this is a more of like a real rally setting where you're parked more like sardines because they only have at a fairgrounds right they only have so much space so they say if you want to be with your friends you have to arrive with your friends well they all went yesterday and we're like great and they're like don't worry we're gonna save you a space because like i said they yeah, they have connections, so I don't know how that's going to work. They say they have, they have a space for us. And you're not supposed to do that, so keep it on the down low. Right. Hey, are you ready to go? <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go. Ready Let's get to, it. Ready to go bash and have some fun? Let's go bash, man. Let's get it. Great. What you All right, y'all, I'm not sure how much of this is going to show up, but look for the thing with smoke behind it. That's a plane. Look at that. Loop de loop like he's on a roller coaster. I'll try to keep this steady. Then he stalls out and he goes back down. Look at that. And I'm just out here setting up the rug, so. All right, y'all, this is our rig and this is what we're calling block party night. Every section of Blast has block party. We're in the general section. I can't take you closer to the speakers because, well, you'll see it, but you won't hear it because they have music playing, so. That's where we're sitting. You can tell there's just a handful of us now, but you just wait. These are all our friends, and there's more on this side. And we will show you what it looks like later on. Good morning, y'all. Morning. Guess where we're headed? Coffee with the um, first timers of bash yep they're having a thing for first timers it's at 8 a.m we're always up at this time anyways but it should be fun there's no music right now so we can actually talk to you yeah and they <laughs> say it's coffee and here's our coffee yeah ice cold water right <laughs> we don't drink coffee so far it's been a lot of fun this is day two um just got here so We'll see what the rest of it has in store. We know there are some awesome things coming, so we can't wait to show you those, but I'm not gonna ruin the surprise, so you'll have to wait and see. Yeah, so are you having a good time? 
I am, and last night we got to hang out with some friends, so it was, it's really been a good time so far. Yeah, last night was 90s um, music, and I knew all the songs. You all. did, that was impressive. And that band was pretty good too, because they knew a lot of songs, and they could sing like every version from like Ice Ice Baby to Salt and Pepper to even, um, what is that? Oh, I can't think. I think No Doubt and stuff. So. Yeah, I recognized a lot of them too. I wish they had done 80s night, but I guess that's too far in the Wayback Machine. <laughs> right. All right, y'all, Matthew's cleaning out for a garage sale here at Bash. They say when they have the lot crawl tonight that your trash could be someone else's treasure. And he's just seeing what all we can sell, right? <laughs> I'm trying, but this is a mess. All right, so I'm gonna show you our little site where we are here at the bash. That's where we have the truck parked right there. We just pulled in. And that is what the front looks like. It's our friends Kelly and Wendy right here in the solitude. Then the solitude right across from us is Jeff and Karen. So we got an end spot, we got a nice view. Plenty of room where we are to open slides and everything. All right, y'all, I'm on the roof of our RV and this is what the grounds look like in the general section here at the Bash, the Escapers Bash 2024. We're in Lake Havasu and you can see the mountains in the background and the rodeo grounds. You can even see the rodeo sign. We're here with the rubber chickens in the rubber chicken section. You can see some of the rubber chicken um, flags flying with the escapers flags, American flags, Canadian flags. You can see all of the Starlinks. All right, y'all. Matthew is putting one of those slow cooker liners into our Ninja because he is fixing to make what? Well, first of all, we're boondocking and you don't want to use a lot of water and have a lot of trash. So I love these things. They're really good. Um, we're making barbecue meatballs and that's part of our thing tonight. Sean will explain to you what we're doing tonight, but there's uh, some big get together. We're providing some food, barbecue meatballs with pretzel and we're going to have a twist on it and I'll show you that when we get it done. But for now they just have to simmer. Because we are here at Bash. Sorry for the generator noise because we're at Bash we're having to run the generator a little bit more often because we are not at our optimal position. It's still not really south and there's nothing they can do about that. You either face this way or that way and that's it. So we just make the best of our situation and run the generator. So anyways, yeah, we are having so much fun. We're looking forward to tonight. He wanted me to explain to y'all. We have something called a lot crawl. Now, a lot of times when people hear about a lot crawl, they think, oh, it's just a booze fest. No, it's a mix of food and people can provide alcohol. Um, drinks and snacks. And I'll be honest with y'all, I was not for the lot crawl at first because I have a complete, I had a completely negative thought of lot right. crawl. Like it's just a bunch of people going from one booze station to the next. <laughs> and we don't drink and we don't care mm -hmm. about that. A lot of our friends do and they're perfectly fine to do so. We just mm -hmm. choose not to. So right. that being said, Sean's right. This one, at least this one in particular is about community getting to meet people which is really why we're here yes getting to meet yes. people and have a good time and so being inside the rig will not make us have a good time so we're going to be out there and one of the side benefits is we get to empty our pasture right. bay of a couple of things so. Matthew's going to sell some stuff where um, we never use the Anderson leveler so we're going to mm -hmm. try to sell those we got this um, webcam from Ford which is very Right. It's a trailer camera. Yeah. yeah, and it's just not like a Furion where it's plug and play. It's a lot more... It's not wireless. It's yeah. wired the whole way. And I'm thinking, no. So we're, no. We're going to try to sell it here. If not, we're going to take it back to New Orleans where our storage is and put it in storage. And then whenever mm -hmm. we sell the truck, then it can just go with the truck. <laughs> all right. He got, we got the family size. I, we didn't know how many to get, right. so we just went big. Show the folks what type of barbecue. 
Yeah, fine. My pantry's a disaster. I know y'all have seen me organize that thing. I've given up. That's that what it, last, let's show them. <laughs> honestly, organizing the pantry lasts a few days because then when you move, you got to reorganize it again. And I know y'all are looking at all those cup and noodles. Why are, are y'all in college again? No, it's just very simple. It's a simple meal, it's a cheap meal, and it's a completely unhealthy meal. So don't buy these, but um, we use them. Did you show them the barbecue sauce? Oh, sorry. There we go. Hey, it's how gourmet, everybody. <laughs> we go for the best. All right, let's hear the gloop, gloop, gloop. Is it gonna make that kind of noise? I don't know, but you just did. Uh -huh. Making that noise a little. <laughs> now that sounds like a cat having a hairball. <laughs> Now, if that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what will. I mean, seriously. I know. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here's our little setup with Deb and Joel. All right, this is Wisconsin yeah, Sushi, which is also AKA eyeballs. Zombie eyeballs. And the Tootsie okay. Roll suckers. Uh -huh. I'm going to show them our meatballs. So is that zombie enough? Okay, my right, right. <laughs> and ours are brains, which the wind's blowing. Okay. So Maggie was going to make it all fancy. What happened? Real life happened. You know, the video got dropped tonight, so I just, I had to pay attention to the video. Zombie had to come second. So since it came second, the cheese got ixnate. No cheese. You were going to make it all fancy with cheese, weren't you? Yeah, so yeah. when I don't have time, I cut the fancy and do the bare minimum. <laughs> Still have fun. Matthew left me. He's down there eating um, Bruce's burnt ends or something like that. I think Deb's down there. So what do y'all have? We have Canadian goodies. We didn't follow oh. the program, but we've got cheesies. Mm -hmm. We've got Smarties. real Smarties that are chocolate, not like I don't think your I've... little candy ones. I've never we had call those rockets. Really? Your I've Smarties never had those. Rockets. And coffee crisp. So does it taste like coffee? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Chocolate. They're really good. And, and a wafer. Good afternoon, folks. Yo. We are heading down to the Olympics. And this is perhaps the best known thing or the most highly sought after thing to watch or participate in in all of BASH, and that is the Olympics. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be an athlete if that tells you anything, so hopefully it'll be as much fun for you as it is for us. And I heard there's going to be a very unique opening ceremony. <laughs> Hey. We are going to go see our friend, he's a rubber chicken, um, Mark Kermakin, play at the gazebo here at Bash. And this time he's putting on a two hour show, I think from four to six. I think we've only heard him play one hour. He's a great musician and we can't wait to hear him sing. And we're looking forward to seeing if he's singing any songs we haven't heard before because like I said, we've only got one hour of them before, but I'm looking There should forward. be some new ones. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to two hours, so yeah. All right, let's go. There you go.
Guess what we get to do today? We are getting to hear our friends the Border Hookups play. They're right over there. He's doing sound check right now. Yep, can't wait. We went shopping at the Lake Havasu Walmart and we're the last spot at the very end and you see all this open space. I think we took things a bit too far this time. <laughs> Nor normally this parking lot is full but we got here before 8 in the morning because we have an event to attend at 10 a.m. at the Bash. And I'm having to walk a quarter of a mile just to get to the truck and there's no need for that. Alright, let me show you all this. There's Walmart. <laughs> We're in the last spot. And the truck's all oh, three years old, but we still treat it like it's brand new, right? Hey, it may be dirty, but it's not dented. And I aim to keep it that way. We're in Lake Havasu, y'all. They're having their balloon festival. It's kind of neat. You see all the balloons, y'all, above the buildings, right on the lake. Look at that. Ah! Now we are going on a hike. Yep, and the convenient thing is we're right across the street, literally from the trailhead. We tried to get other people to go hiking with us and they're just not having it today. So it's just us. We got turned down three times. Not once, not twice, but three, three times. times. So y'all who turned us down and you know who you are, you owe us a hike. We wanted to do this last time we came to yeah, Lake Havasu. Did. Didn't get a chance to do it, but we are doing something called Sarah's Crack. Yep, the last time we were here that yeah. we wanted to do it, it had rained too much and part of it was flooded. So now it should be good. It hasn't rained at all. So Yeah, so we're headed there. Ready? Let's go. All right, y'all, we're starting our hike to Sarah's Crack. And there's a lot of people in the parking lot, but I think they have several trails off this trailhead. In fact, we did a different trail the last time we came down here. And if you want to see that video, we will put it in the description because that was an amazing hike. It was yeah. much longer than this one. And it mm -hmm. had a nice surprise halfway through. All right, y'all, Matthew left us. We have to go through this. I'm gonna slip. Ooh. Yay, the peeps made it. All right, $10,000 question, can she make it? Did someone spit? Oh wow, spit there? That's gross. I don't know. That's Yay. Not graceful, y'all. <laughs> Gold medal Ashley. Look at this, y'all. This is amazing. Sure is. I'm so glad we got out of the RV. Matthew's like, eh. No, I wanted to pack <laughs> up because we got stuff to do. Yeah, because tomorrow is leaving day. But apparently our other three friends, our other three sets of friends felt the same way and they didn't want to come, but we pushed forward and decided to come because we wanted to... Oh, look at that. Squirrel moment. Isn't that neat? Yep. All right. Forward. Nobody's around. Because we wanted to show y'all some stuff about Lake Havasu. All right, y'all. This is what everybody comes here for. Not this rock that Sean's going down. This is so not graceful. Let me turn you around. This. Where you see them down there. This is what people come here for. Sarah's Crack. It's a slot canyon. That way or this way? Um, go that way. <laughs> I'm disappearing. There she goes. Oh. See, hold oh on. Never quite done this before. <laughs> no, that was us too. I'm like, uh, I might be. I know I could go down, and but am I gonna make it? Keep your weight back so your feet don't slip. Oh uh, no, I don't know. I don't know if I signed up for this. <laughs> you signed up for it. You bought the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just slide down it? You could. You could but slide down it. You, am I strong enough to get back up? That's me. <laughs> So the proper way to go down this is some sort of version of what I did, but then there's Sean's way. Let's see what she does. Are you going to do it that? You got to have a, the, a tight grip on the rope. Grab onto a knot and then reach for the next knot. Oh my goodness. And if you don't like that, climb back up and then slide down. It's very yeah. smooth. Keep your weight back. I wouldn't do it between your legs. No, 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 no. No, so which way? That way. Like this? Yes. 
like you're leaning backwards. Yep, lean, there you go. And grab the knot. Oh my goodness. You're, uh, Sean. What? Tilt your head back. There you go. Look up at the sky. That's what you need to do. <laughs> yep, take one foot in front of the other. Nice and easy. Don't go too far. What do you mean don't go too far? Don't let your feet go too far out from underneath you. you got Look it. at her like a mountain goat. Yeah, sort of. I'm not like <laughs> hey, at least it's at least it's not a hundred feet down. You got three more feet. <laughs> Just slide. You're right there. That was so not graceful. <laughs> <laughs> People don't care about graceful, they just care about making it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying 20 shades of red. Because I thought I was going to uh, fall and hurt. I think I pulled a muscle in my stomach. I don't feel good. Oh, wow. Look at this. This has no grace to it at all. This is just <laughs> sliding. All right. The question is, y'all, are we gonna get back up or are we gonna turn into Sarah Crack Hermits? Trail Hermits. Y'all, this is fairly safe. I mean, it is pretty safe, but it's fun. At least the rocks feel kind of good. And these rocks are so smooth. It's not like something rough. Ooh, okay, this will be fun. I didn't think you, I didn't know this was what it was like. I didn't either, I thought it was just one obstacle. So how do you, can you get back up there though if you go down? We'll figure that out when we get Oh, down. you're going anyways. Yeah. <laughs> they forgot the rope on the rest of these. All right, you've seen us do plenty of water crossings and stuff, but never anything like this. There's no graceful way to do it. <laughs> okay. And they don't give you extra leg room either. Oh, look how pretty this is. Y'all, if this were like Zion or something, there would be a hundred people in line. Wow. All right, down we go. All right, Matthew's climbing up this ladder and going over another ladder. So go down front. Just put your foot on the ladder. There you go. There's only two rungs. Okay. I got it. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? What do you do if someone's coming up? Uh, I don't know. Hold your breath. All right, y'all. We made it. Instead of going back through there on the way back, our new trail buddies here suggested that we take the red trail or blue trail, some other kind of trail. So if there's one thing all trails is good for, it'll show you alternate routes. So that's what we're gonna do because going down is one thing, but going up those trails, what do you think? Yeah, if someone's coming, it's very tight. And if someone's coming down and you're trying to go up, so we'll find an alternate trail on the way back and let you know how it goes. All right, y'all, look at this view. Pretty amazing. The higher you go, the better the view. I guess that's why it's called Lake Havasu. No. And <laughs> it's even nice when it's cloudy out. Yes. Everybody yell at your TV screens and say, don't do it, Matthew. Life is good. Life is real good. <laughs> Look at this view, y'all. He's trying to get pictures. He's risking his life to get all these gorgeous pictures of Lake Havasu. All right, y'all. That is where we came from. And this is where we're going. It looks like we should have a scenic overlook. Oh, yeah. Let's be careful because you see this ground here? It's very gravelly. Down there is Sarah's crack. So you got a couple options. You can take the cliff base trail and keep going, or you could take this trail 
and eventually make your way back down to the wash. What are we going to do? We're going to probably take that blue trail to the right and make our way back to the wash. All right, y'all, we kind of forged our own way on the way back, but I kind of like that because with yeah. an out and back, there's two things about an out and back. One thing is, is that you know the trail on the way back and sometimes the views look different on the way back. But if you do a loop, everything is new. Hey y'all, we're back from our trail and I, you know, we're sweaty or whatever. And I looked at Matthew and I said, hey, you stink. And he said, it's not me, it's the trash. There's a big bag of trash right behind me that we need to throw away. But we thanks do. for flattering me. <laughs> so afternoon hike at Sarah Crack Trail 3.16 miles. Now I know that's small, but we did 328 feet of elevation gain and 831 calories. Now a little worried about this trail. Remember we said it's deep gravel and most of it's in a wash. So at least on the way there. So it takes a lot more out of you than even all trails is willing to recognize. I mean, that's pretty bad if we're sweating in January, right? Yeah. It's usually cold outside. But I'll take it over freezing, man. I mean, I really will. I think when we first uh, desire to do the RV life, what really mm -hmm. appealed to me, if I'm being honest, was all the different places we could go. Yeah. I didn't think about community because we, we lived in a neighborhood. We didn't have the community. We went to church and we had a small community in the church, but you really only saw them on Sunday. Once a week, mm -hmm. or maybe if they had a get together, but that was very rare. And so once we started the RV life, it was all exciting about, okay, what, because we still work, it's like, what can we see or whatever? And then it started to be kind of lonely. Mm -hmm. And now it's morphed into my favorite thing, if I'm being honest about the RV life, is the community. Mine too. Everything she just said started out with the stuff and it ended up with mm -hmm. the community and that's where i'm at too mm -hmm. so if you're new starting this life just plug in to i mean escapers or is it escapees or is it both well yeah. escapees is the parent organization and escapers mm -hmm. is more supposedly for the working folks so right so it is a huge organization in itself and then mm -hmm. they have mail you know where you can get mail and all that stuff and we and have a video on that actually if you want to domicile with escapees or they can help you and we can link that video below but y'all escapees we have a link for that also in the description but the, the important thing is they either have big rallies or they have little hops and they have all sorts of stuff where you can do international mm -hmm. stuff. They have all sorts of things. If you want a quiet time or if you want a big party to, <laughs> till you drop, they've got everything, y'all. I mean everything. So you just got to look and there are right. other organ The FMCA, I think, is another organization. Right. We're not a part of that yet, but there are all sorts of groups out there mm -hmm. where you don't have to plan stuff. All you have to do is sign up for this if you want to do it or that. And then your manufacturer could have rallies. Like mm -hmm. we've already been to a Grand Design rally and we're planning to go to another one. So like I said, you, you do have to put yourself out there, but then once you yeah, go a to a rally or maybe even a border hookup pop-up concert in the mm -hmm. desert, then you'll get to talking to somebody and then that somebody will introduce you to their somebody and your circle grows. And yep. then you start to meet each other on the road. It's so much fun, y'all. Yeah, because some part of your circle may travel with you and part of it may go a different direction. And then mm -hmm. when you see them again, it's like a reunion. Mm -hmm. But then you have like a hundred friends everywhere throughout the country or more. And it's just, it's a good time. So our takeaway from Bash, it was our first Bash was community. I mean, yes. it was like that with the Grand Design Rally. It was like that with Bash. You can do as little as you want or as much as you want they do tell you to come out of your rv so you can be a part of the community but they have so many activities you do not have to participate in all of them even if you don't drink you don't have to but you can still do the lot crawl because not everything in the lot crawl is you know alcohol if you don't drink and that's important to us because we don't drink we alcohol don't. but we have total respect for our friends who do yeah. and we went around the lot crawl with them because like she said it was food and drinks so mm -hmm. we had a good time without drinking without violating anything we didn't want to do and that was perfectly mm -hmm. acceptable and you can do it too so don't feel like just because you've seen somebody else do these things that you have to do them you can still go to escapers you can go to bash yeah. you can party your buns off and not have to drink and all that kind of stuff 
Yes, if you have any questions about how to get plugged into a community, uh-huh. just um, send us an email at brokendreamsreborn at gmail.com and we'll try to help you out. And another great place is join Facebook pages that's yes. specific to your rig too. And sometimes um, people meet up that way as well. And speaking of Facebook pages, join our Facebook page. Yeah. I mean, it's free. Facebook is mm-hmm. free. So just go to our Facebook mm-hmm. page and start commenting down below. And people share all kinds of stuff. And we'd love it if you all would even make new friends in our comment section. It does happen, so we'd love if you would join us and get engaged. <laughs>